we are having a problem with fatherlessness. A lot of the problems, the crime, the criminality contributes or is linked or there is an inextricable link between fatherlessness, absentee fathers and children. A pleasant afternoon to you, all the great fathers, the father figures, uh, the surrogate dads. We just want to say big ups you know, to all of you. Thank you so much for all you do. And thank you for being here and helping us through because fathers are indeed of paramount importance. And, you know, their presence means a lot. And we have also seen that when they are not around, the negative repercussions uh, that can happen as a result. And so I'm imploring the men who are looking to have children or if you have them already and you're not playing your part and you're not doing what you ought to do, please step up. Please man up. Please do what you are supposed to do. Whether or not you and the mother are on good terms or it's still in a relationship or whatever the situation may be, please step up. Your children need you. Your children need you. It's not a matter of want. It's not a matter of kind of maybe-ish. Children need their fathers. Ladies, if you and the man are no longer together, please do not use the children as pawns or use the children as a weapon against the father to be vindictive and to hurt him just because the relationship um, has not gone how you wanted it to go or how you envisioned it going. Mm -hmm. When you try to spite the child, you're trying to spite the father, but really and truly you're doing more harm to the children all right so i just want to encourage each and every one if you want to have a child please understand that you know a father plays an integral role in the life of his child or children and that ought not to be scoffed at we are reaping a lot of uh fatherlessness and the woes and problems of fatherlessness in jamaica right now both on the female side, where the girls are concerned, where the boys are concerned, we are having a problem with fatherlessness. A lot of the problems, the crime, the criminality, a lot of what we have right now, the prostitution, the this, the that, the all, a lot of the ails are in, in the society, the decay in the society that we are faced with now or with which we are faced primarily contributes or is linked or there is an inextricable link between fatherlessness, absentee fathers, and children. Gentlemen, no matter how small the role is, please be there. You may not have a bag of money or you may not have the latest this or the latest that. But your children don't necessarily need all of that now. Your presence is more important. Your love, your encouragement, the fact that you are there. One of the most things, I, I think powerful things are things that empowered me. Well, because I know my father did to defend me, you know? Yeah, my father, mm -hmm. police, and my father, yeah. And my father of blessed memory was tall, so he's a towering man, you know? And you just feel strong in yourself. You just feel powerful in yourself, because you know your daddy dead, day. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And then when you don't have that, it can lead to low self-esteem. It can lead to no self-esteem. And it also opens up your children for other men to step in and take advantage of a situation. And we're not talking about the, the, the terrible fathers or the bad fathers. We're talking about loving fathers. Okay, so let, let me make that distinction. Because some father, good as well, they never did they. You understand? Because them worse than stranger. We're not talking about those and those who are operating like that, shake up your folly grown as well. And I'm imploring the mothers again and these women again. When you have these monsters around your children who are tormenting and traumatizing your children, you owe it to your child to remove them from the situation. Have your exit strategy. Have a plan to get out. Don't sit on your laurels and say, but me not have no money. Me can't do no better. Me, Lord, I, I, I'm not carrying the money. Me can't do no better. There is always a way to do better if you so choose. It may not happen overnight, but if you plan, you can get out. For the sake of your children, for the psychology of your children, for the mental well-being and mental health of your children, you have to try and extricate yourself from that kind of 
abusive relationships. And so, gentlemen, call your children. Let them know that you love them. Normalize saying, I love you. Normalize hugging your children. Normalize telling your children they are great. Normalize telling your children, yo, you're going to be the next prime minister, you know. Normalize loving your children and being that source on which your children can rely. So whenever they think of anything or want anything, you are the first person that comes to their mind. Normalize treating their mothers well. You cannot say you love your kids them and I ill treat the mother. That not make no sense. Because if the mother is not in a good psychological space, she will not be able to raise your children properly. I'm not saying that you should, uh, you know, suck up to her or, you know, make sure you use your or step in your head or anything like that. But we can be civil. We can be cordial. We can just keep it moving. But please don't try to go out of your way to make the mother of your children's lives uncomfortable, unduly and unnecessarily. Because ultimately it will affect the children. So gentlemen, please do all that you can. Do all that you must. So that when Father's Day comes around, nobody na fear telling a life who no. Nobody na fear put up on put up on a picture and that you rest and just true no want shame and just because you don't want people feel a weird and Lord Jesus, let me just put him up here yeah, because I done your father already. Right? Hmm. Let it be that when you're celebrated or being cele you know, a celebration is being held in your honor and in your name, people can do so with a clean and pure heart and put you know, up with a clean and pure heart and know say, yeah, I'm my father that. Nobody's perfect. We're not asking for perfection. We all fall short of the grace of God. But at the end of the day, if you decide to have children, it is your duty to do your best for them because after all, they did not ask to be here and you got trouble, trouble. So the fact that they are here, you owe it to them. You have a duty to them to provide, protect and profess your love and do all that you can to endure, ensure that you give them a firm foundation on which to build. All right.